Um, so this is a little hair tutorial on how I did my hair, Lindsay and Jamie's hair last night. Um, so hopefully this will help you. I think it's the easiest way and it'll make it stay so we're not like bopping all over the place. Um, so you're just going to need a comb, a little clear elastic, and just some bobby pins in your hair color. Um, so the ones at Sally's um, Beauty Co. or Beauty Supply, they're the really thick ones. So if you get these in, yours, uh, in your hair color, they're probably the best grip, I would suggest. Um, but if not, obviously any bobby pin would work. So um, I'm going to be using a root lifter a just any hairspray and a dry shampoo so before we get started I'm just gonna spray the dry shampoo kind of all over the crown of my head this one does leave a slight residue so you need to like work it in this is the one from BioTerra this is just a knockoff Biolage brand from Sally's so Anyways, so now you just decide on how much hair that you want to go back. I did this with the smallest amount of hair on my hair, so I know it will work for all of you guys as it did it on Jamie and Lindsay yesterday. So um, I like to have a little more taken back, um, but I'm just going to, as good as I can in this camera, go back and just part that and make sure that it's as close to a straight line as I can get. not taking that much I'm trying to look here make sure that that's straight as it can get try that one more time there we go all right this side was okay so I'm literally just going to stop that right here and I'm just going to separate the rest of my hair so I'm gonna pull this down this doesn't have to be straight or anything back here and I'm just going to kind of pin the rest of my hair back with just like a clippy or an elastic will work. So basically so that this is the only thing out. Alright, so we're just going to brush through that. So we're just going to start by braiding. Um, we're just going to be doing a little French braid. So I'm just taking a small amount of hair right here, not even taking all of it. Just kind of throwing that back and then starting out like I would just a regular, a regular three part braid. That's just to get the French braid going. And now I start kind of adding to. This is a lot harder doing it without being able to see anything. But like I said, this doesn't have to be pretty. This is just helping us, helping us keep it in place. All right, so I'm just, that's about more than four fingers back, enough space. So I'm gonna grab the excess hair that I pulled out. And I'm just going to take that elastic. I like these because um, my hair is really thick, but if you get the nice strong kind like this, they don't slip. So I'm just going to start my, again, about four fingers right there. Wrap that around two or three times. And then we can this out so I got this crazy like Pomeranian thing going on here and now I'm just going to brush this and um, you can use your comb I'm just reaching for my little teasing comb right here and I'm going to back comb and the trick to back combing is to go down and out down and out so have a little flick to your wrist because if you go up and down you're just brushing out what you just scrunched so if that makes any sense so I'm doing the front now 
and basically your hair should look like a mess like this okay um, I'm gonna give it a good little spray in the front spray in the back with the hairspray I'm kind of gonna tame tame it somewhat and then I'm just gonna wrap it softly around itself okay and it can be messy that's totally cool and then I'm going to start pinning it so I'm just going to pin it down to my head and that's so again so we're not like flopping all over the place make sure you kind of secure the bottom oops oh, that one to stick out the bottom parts of your hair first I'm using a ton of bobby pins so I just want to make sure it doesn't budge and I'm kind of cross hatching over like so if I put one in straight I'm putting another one the opposite way so that it is all kind of really pinned into place so now I'm just going back through and every one that I pinned I'm kind of putting another one across it it already feels pretty secure and if there's like little this little guy is coming out I'm just gonna pin him back and then put one to keep him in place kind of pull those braids out if you want like make it a little more loose so you have a little volume on the top all right feels pretty secure if you're good with that obviously I'm looking in the camera so it might be a little more messy than I would if I was actually in a mirror but I'll just give it a little spray and this will hold better than if you like wrapped your hair around without teasing it and like tucked it in or whatever I've seen that method which is cute for definitely every day you know when you want to have like nice smooth hair but we're gonna be dancing it's gonna go all over the place so I just want it to stay so then I'm gonna take the hair that's on the right underneath it and I'm just using my brush and I'm just gonna spray this root lifter and I'm gonna use my little teasing comb nothing too crazy we'll come back to that and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side this root lift that side nothing too crazy there I mean it looks a little crazy but you know what I mean and then I'm going to take right below my crown or at my crown I'm going to do the same thing and brush this little guy out first root lifter and all right so now that we're like good and crazy going on here I'm actually gonna add some to this side we want it to be equally as crazy there we go all right and then just kind of let that air out and then we're gonna go back through and we're just gonna smooth that out and I kind of just like I kind of hold it with my nails and then I brush like the bottom so that I'm not like brushing out all of my tees and I'm going to do the same thing over here and you're obviously going to want to get some of it down so it's not so crazy looking so now I'm going to keep going sorry my camera went out um, so I'm going to continue that around the back side going to push up with my hands and depending on what kind of hair type that you have if you have thinner hair this part might not be as in-depth for you you might just like curl it and that'll be good but my hair is so long I have to have a little bit of body 
And I'm just going through with the hairspray and kind of touching that up. And on the bottoms, I just curled my hair with these kind of loose curls. I use like an inch and a quarter on this. So nothing like too tight and too curly. We don't want to like look like little girls. But I think that this look, looks a little bit better when you have a little, a little wave to it. So, I mean, everybody could probably do their own thing when it comes to this, but maybe just not stick straight. Um, but anyway, so here is the final product. And again, we're gonna be like whipping our hair, so, but I don't feel like this is like bobbing around. I feel pretty secure with it. Um, you know, if you bop around and you feel like it's still kind of loose, then maybe, you know, add a few. I'm just adding one for good measure. You can play with your, your bun, like mine was looking a little lopsided there for a second, so I'm just gonna pin that down, make it a little more round. Alright, and there it is. I hope this helps. Thanks guys.